This past Sunday, the LSU Tigers took home their first NCAA Women's Basketball National Championship, defeating the Iowa Hawkeyes 102 to 85. And look who is here in our studio right now. Yes. Please welcome women's final four most outstanding player, LSU forward Angel Reese. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You came here to New York just for us. Yes, we appreciate yes. that. Thank you guys for having me. Okay, so Wednesday, you, so you win this national championship, and then on Wednesday, you ride through this LSU parade. What has this week been like for you? It's been crazy. I mean, just to have all those fans supporting women's basketball, it makes me happy because I feel like we're growing the game. The whole city of Louisiana, the whole state, everybody in Baton Rouge was there. It was so much fun. And like, I don't know, I love, I love LSU, I love wow. LSU. You can't even walk on campus anymore. No, I can't. You're like superstar. I need security like. and everything now, so it's been lit though, it's fun. That's amazing. You actually suffered two pretty difficult injuries, yeah. both requiring surgery earlier in your college career. Yeah. When you were going through all of that, did you think this was going to be waiting for no. you on the other side of it? At one point I didn't want to play basketball anymore because it was mentally tough for me just to have so many high expectations for myself and then of course on the outside and it's hard like having two surgeries when you feel like one the first surgery you come back and feel like you're back and then eight months later I have to have another one so mentally it was tough for me but I don't think I'll be able to get through it if I wasn't ha at home back at home at Maryland so it was a great experience for me and having my coaches and teammates were there for me. All right, uh, so, you know, we've got to talk about the hand gesture, right? <laughs> okay, so the hand gesture and Caitlin Clark. Yeah. You got a lot of criticism, yeah. but then once people saw that Caitlin had also done the same gesture yeah. at one point, you got a lot of support. Yeah. So you say that you've been criticized all year long and that there's been this, this double standard because you don't fit the narrative, you yeah. say. Tell me about that. What, what's been going through your mind this whole time? I mean, I, t I trash talk, so that's just that's just who I am, and that's very passionate of me. I mean, I'm from Baltimore, so that's kind of what we do. And Caitlin is a great player, and she understood that. It was nothing personal towards her or any player that me and they we've gone at this year. So it's fun. That's just I think that's what grows the game. I think that's why it's so entertaining now. And, we've and by got the way, so a lot of athletes trash talk. Yeah, no, literally, trash talk. Men trash talk. Everybody trash talk. So it's fun. I mean, I love it. It, it brings excitement to the game. So yeah. Um, you also were telling us about your tattoo here. Just, yeah. I just we wanted to show everyone this, yeah. this tattoo. Oh, Talk yes, to us about it. this. Happiness over everything. Whatever makes me happy is what I'm going for in life. I mean, so I had to make the scariest step of entering the transfer portal, and I think that was the hardest thing in my life, going away from home by myself. So taking a scary step like that and just to see where my life, April 5th was the day I entered the portal, and now a year late, a year and a day later now, I'm, I'm in a situation, so it's crazy how, how life can change in a year. And, and you guys are getting more tattoos, right? <laughs> well, hopefully, I mean, as a team, I want to get team tattoos. They said we, we'll do it, so I don't know what we're going to get, though. Okay, yeah. we'll be watching for that. Okay, so it's been a very big week for your family, too. Yeah. So not only did you win the, the NCAA basketball championship, uh, but your cousin Jordan Hawkins also won the men's championship yeah. the very next night. Yes, I'm excited. That's yeah. crazy. It's going to be fun. My uncle just texted me. He's like, when is the cookout? <laughs> <laughs> so we're like Memorial Day weekend. I was like, I don't know if I'll be in town, but let's let's get oh something done. Have you had a chance to see him? No, I haven't. Not yet. Not yet. Why I haven't you even turn been around. Hi, Jordan. Hey, cousin. Hey. How are you doing? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. What a good surprise. This is awesome, yeah. Jordan. Jordan to the show. You didn't even tell me you were coming. <laughs> that was the whole point. <laughs> Did you guys grow up playing basketball together? No, we, not really. But we played against each other, like at cookouts and family functions and stuff. I used to be him. Did you trash talk him? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> How proud are you of her? I'm super proud, man. Just to see uh, your family doing something amazing is. It's crazy. I mean, we're all proud. Uncle Ro, um, I know he's losing his mind right now. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and for you to see him doing so well. I'm happy so for well. him, yeah, to see everything that he's, got, he's done and to be so successful. And it's, I'm happy for you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love awesome. the love. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this, this was awesome. This is, I'm so glad we could do this little reunion here on GMS. You don't even have to wait for the cookout. I know. It's right here. Let's bring the cookout here. We need a barbecue, though. <laughs> <laughs> NCAA basketball champions Angel Reese and Jordan Hawkins. Yeah. Our thanks to both of you guys thank for you, being thank here with you. us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.